Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have the Dawn of Solitude. This is the final mod in the Dawn of series that we've yet to cover. This time it's called the Wolfing Overhaul and it's for the capital of the province. Just like the other mods in the series, it tries to make the city feel more busy and lived in, with every new piece being hand placed for the best mix of visuals, functionality and performance. Given that we recently covered another new Solitude overhaul called JK Solitude, we're going to be making some comparisons during the video. So hopefully that'll help some of you decide which series is for you. The changes made in this overhaul are much less obvious when compared to JK Solitude. The author felt that there wasn't too much that needed to be changed in the capital, so changes in certain areas are much less dramatic. For example, we highlighted the very built up entrance in JK Solitude, but in this overhaul the entrance only includes a few bits and pieces, although we feel it changes enough to give the city a fresh new feel. So now there's a new patio area outside the Winking Skiva, and there's a small outdoor office to show the East Empire Trading Company's presence in the city. As you head further in, you'll notice a major overhaul to the market area, which we think is fantastic. There's three new stores coming with their own merchants, and the stores themselves are much more unique, with cleverly placed static items to make them stand out. Opposite the market you'll also notice changes to Castle Door. Compared to JK Solitude, these changes are much less dramatic, so the forge area has been cornered off in both versions, but in JK there was a huge amount of items scattered all over the place, which might affect performance. One of the biggest differences between the two overhauls is that this one adds bits and pieces all over the city, including the entrance, Castle Door and the walkway down to the Blue Palace. Whereas JK Solitude barely touches the Blue Palace or its walkway, and mainly focuses on the entrance and Castle Door. So in Dornov, you'll notice a much more decorated walkway to the palace, with certain outdoor patios receiving a full makeover. There's also a bunch of extra pieces of foliage and a completely redesigned palace garden. Across the city you'll also notice a much bigger emphasis on banners, whether they're for the city, the legion or the Thalmor. Overall, the two overhauls are undoubtedly similar, especially in areas where there's an obvious need for some change, like Castle Door's forge area. They are both even share similar but uniquely decorated alleyways at the back of some of the stores. Ultimately, it'll come down to what you prefer and what your computer can handle. JK Solitude is more built up in smaller areas, whereas Dawn of Solitude comes with smaller changes spread evenly throughout the entire city. Another important thing to keep in mind is that the Dawn of series, which aimed to overhaul all of Skyrim's major cities, is now complete. So you can now download the entire collection in a single ESP on the Nexus. And as I said earlier, we've covered them all in videos too, so if you've yet to see what's available in the other overhauls, you can click on any of the annotations on screen now, and we'll also include links in the description. And as always, be sure to leave an endorsement on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.